Roman dogs! Webbed and suckled by a she-wolf! They call brutality nobility and seek mastery over all others! Those Easterners trouble me. I do not hold with men who think of wearing silks and perfumes. I do not care for insolent cowards. I do not care for them! We face only Romans! We must match their stupidity with stern resolve, their sullen stubbornness with courage! Men, I promise you that we shall be victorious if we do! We can break these fools! Those eastern sandflies are interested only in gold, not honor. To achieve wealth, they will do anything to anyone. Do not fall into their hands! They will seek out gold in your bowels, given the chance! Would you be unmanned by these dogs? Would you have it known you fled before them? I would rather fight and die than be known a coward! If you fight, if you find your courage, I can promise you victory! What say you? By Jupiter, rarely have I felt so confident before a battle. With men such as you under my command, why should I feel any different? Good luck, sons of Mars. Good hunting. We will not be defeated by them. Let them throw their legions against us. We shall turn them back. Make ready. Shall not become their subjects, their house slaves. We shall fight. Welcome, welcome, guys. It's Pixelated Apollo. Thanks for stopping by. And this is a 2v2 pitch battle on Total War Rome 2. And this is going to be an amazing battle. We have Pontus teaming up with the Egyptians. And they are facing the Iverni teaming up with the Romans. So this is going to be really, really interesting. And look at the, the terrain here. This is such a bizarre terrain. The two mountains that are, uh, that are on both sides. It's really going to create some interesting positioning. And should be pretty fun to watch. Now this battle starts off pretty damn quick. So we're going to go over the army comps as quick as possible. Also, I don't remember all of the player names. And unfortunately, when you hover over the units, it doesn't tell you who's commanding who but I do remember some of them so over here we'll start with a Pontus Pontus commanded by Dutch Lancer and oh, I love the Pontus they're they're just the blend of Greek and Eastern and they make this powerful army so awesome but I think he's mostly bringing Pontic swordsmen he's got some Eastern slingers he's got two chariots which is a very important very powerful unit there and then he's got uh, yeah here's his slingers up here so that's mostly his army. Let's go ahead and check out the Egyptians, commanded by Banters for life. Now, look at this army. Look, I don't know what it is, but I have a thing for colorful armies. Got yellow, red, blue, so amazing. And uh, he's staying true to the Egyptians. He's got a lot of Egyptian slingers and Egyptian pikemen. And of course, he has two chariots. So they have four chariots total. It's going to be a bloodbath. Chariots are so, so deadly. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the Iverni. Now, he's got a very, very nice infantry core. He's not bringing a lot of archers, but he does have some skirmishers, some uh, Celtic youth. Uh, but yeah, he's got some chosen swordsmen. And talk about colorful army. Look at that. That arts and craft on that shield there. They like the paint on their shield, and they do a great job doing it. It's 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 like therapy to them. All right, anyways, we've got some heavy horse. This is what I like most about this army is the heavy horse, because if he if he uses them wisely, he should be able to wreck the Egyptians. But we will see what happens. We will see. All right, here's the Romans. The Romans, their heart of their army is mostly consisting of legionary cohort. He's got some triarii, about two units. And he's bringing the Syrian archers, auxiliary Syrian archers. 
Um, I think that's that's pretty much his army in a nutshell. So he's holding up on this hill. We'll go ahead and play uh, normal speed, guys. So Pontus is not... Look at this. He's being aggressive, but he does a last-minute decision to retreat his forces. Um, he's also bringing the Pontus Peltus, which I love. And when you say their name, it just it goes so well to go Pontus Peltus. It's, it's, it's an epic name. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he's retreating most of his force, but he, he is keeping um, his cab in the trees. Check this out. He's going to leave his uh, heavy cav right in the trees, but he's going to retreat his infantry to the hill. Which I think is a smart decision because <laughs> look at this hill. You do not you do not want to fight Romans, uh, let alone on even terrain. You don't want to fight them, fight them on a massive hill. This would be dreadful charging up there. Uh, but look at this. This battle is already underway. We have the Egyptians slinging, slinging at the Iverni. We do have, uh, oh, look at this. The Averni are not going to sit around and let him do that. He is charging forward, and he's going to try to put the hurt on the Egyptians. This is this is going to be epic. I cannot wait to watch this clash. Let's go ahead and, uh, hang on, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom in here and watch this epic charge of the Iverni. Look at that. Look at that line of infantry charging in. Come on, lads. Oh, they took a volley, but they look okay. Beautiful and there goes the rest of the infantry. Oh, let's let's just get a close-up on this infantry fight This is beautiful Got the Egyptian pikemen. It looks like they're able to get their pikes out mostly uh, Not really this unit over here is just getting cut down their pikes are not out. It looks like they're a little out of position. Oh My lord I will see you. Oh my lord these poor Egyptians. Oh, that is gruesome, guys. Oh, oh my god. But here comes the chariots. Look at this. The chariots are coming through. And over on the other side. Oh, they are just crashing all over the place. Boom. All right, let's 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 see what's going on here. Pontus is sacrificing some of his chariots, running down the, the Celtic youth. And he's running down some more. I think it's safe to say the Celtic youth will not become Celtic elders. Yeah, that's right. I came up with that joke. It only took me three hours. <laughs> It was a pretty stupid joke. But man, look at these chariots just running through these guys like a hot knife through butter. Very, very awesome. But there's still a lot of Iverni to kill. We have the heavy he heavy horse flanking around and charging in. Looks like they're going for the general, so they're trying to they're trying to assassinate the general. And oh man, look at the major breaking by uh, the Iverni. That is really surprising because their infantry was doing so great. And just like that, the battle just seems to be over. But there's still a good handful of troops from the Iverni over here. This battle is far from over. Also, he still has his heavy horse that's just running down these slingers. Those poor slingers, they don't have a chance. Oh, the, the Celtic youth getting surrounded. Celtic warriors. Oh, and here's some chariots. The icing on the cake right there. Oh my god. Alright, so it looks like the Iverni is... They're doing a little bit better on this flank. But they really need to group up their forces. Um, let's see. Okay, there was a little cav charge over here. We missed it, but you saw it in the intro. Uh, they got out alive, amazingly. The Romans surrounded them, but this cav got out alive. So that's that's nice to know. Uh, the Pontus still has some of his cav. And here we go. They're grouping up, guys. Let's go ahead and watch a cinematic view of this. The, Egyptian, the Egyptians are regrouping, using their chariots. It looks like a lot of chariots died here. This, this battle is just... Oh, my God. Did you see that volley? And are they getting up? No. Oh, oh. Now they're definitely not getting up. Oh. There's a charge from the heavy horse. Look at this. Let's, let's see what's happening here. The Egyptians, they're trying to rally. We do have a charge here by Spear Warriors. And the uh, the Syrian, looks like the Romans were sending some auxiliary Sy Syrian archers to support their ally. Uh, but it looks like they're getting attacked by some hillmen. So these archers are completely undefended. And we have this chariot just running them down with no kind of contest. This is just, this is not even fair. But they are breaking, look at that. It's just too many bodies to run down. <laughs> Too much for the chariots. Too damn much. But the hillmen are winning. This is a great use of the hillmen. Because the hillmen are a really cheap unit. 
So to use them to kill such an expensive archer unit is very, very awesome for Pontus. And Egypt is victorious. Good teamwork there using the chariots. And uh, oh, 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 hold on, guys. The battle is about to begin over here. Let's see what happens. The Romans, they have the same mindset of their uh, Iverni allies, which no longer exist because they're dead. Um, but they're not going to sit around and uh, just let Pontus stand there. They're going to charge in and give Pontus a, give him a what for. There we go. Here comes the first charge. Charging into some hoplites. The rest of the infantry slowly marching up this hill. Well, let's watch a charge here, guys. I, I need to watch a charge. I live for charges. Here we go. Let's watch this one. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Freaking out. Freaking out. I got to see this. Here we go. Oof. That was close. <laughs> here they go. They're charging in. Oh, beautiful. And the rest of the line infantry goes charging in. Uh, let's get a nice close-up of that, uh, that beautiful charge there. Here comes the second line of Romans. And this is going to be a very tough fight for Pontus. Extremely tough. Because they are outnumbered and outmatched. All they have to do is try to hold and wait for their Egyptian allies. But look at this long line of infantry. Look at this battle, guys. This is gruesome. Just gruesome. Oh my god. Lovely. Oh, look at this though. The chariots chopping up some uh, Roman ankles there. Oh! Oh, that's brutal. Those poor Romans. Poor, poor Romans fighting for honor and glory. Oh, those chariots are going to be a pain. So what Rome has to do here is quickly defeat Pontus and prepare for the Egyptian wave. What's left of the Egyptians. He, he doesn't want to be surrounded by both players. So he needs to kill Pontus as quick as possible. But Pontus, he's not going to allow that. He's not going to let that happen so easily. Let's see, what do we got over here? Some hoplites fighting. Got some cav running around. Let's see. Uh, Triarii. It's, ooh, he's fighting off the cav over here with some Triarii. So there we are. Let's, oh, they're breaking. Both cav units are breaking. The general killing off some cav. Oh, the chariots. The bloody chariots. And the Triarii, I think they're pretty decent at killing... Tri uh, tri uh, I cannot speak today. Chariots. I think they're decent because they're like a spear unit. Legionary cohort charging in for the glory of Rome. And the Egyptians have arrived. That is not good. That is not a good sign for the Romans. Uh, the Romans are making some progress, though, here. Oh, man, those chariots, chariots really do not help out, though. Oh, they're just standing there. Charge in, Romans. Look at this little point-blank skirmish battle. Oh, my God. Look at this. It is, oh, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to zoom in that close. And here comes a flanking charge from the chariots. That is tragic. Uh, it still didn't break him, though. In fact, Pontus is breaking against the Roman might. Uh, but we have the Triarii. They're just trying to get to their, their comrades and, and join them in a glorious, intense melee battle. And man, there is a lot of thunder going on outside in, in real life <laughs> at my house. Uh, that was so loud. That was some really loud thunder. I wonder if that's going to get in the uh, video. I doubt it, but I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I guess it. I guess it's kind of awesome. I don't know. Hearing thunder and watching an epic battle. <laughs> uh, but Pontus is doing the best he can to kill as many Romans as possible. Um, but look at this brawl over here. The Egyptians are charging into the Romans. Oh my god. Oh, that guy is just bleeding all over the place. We need a medic. A medic. Oh, that poor guy is dying as well. A gruesome, gruesome battle. Look at this. Look at this. Those Romans are all bloodied up. Uh-oh. There is a flanking, flanking force. The Romans are in trouble. They are in trouble. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like, yep, yep. They are flanking around. Ooh, that's, that's really going to cause them to break, and that is not a good sign. The Romans are desperately sending units over to protect their flank, but I don't think they're going to get there in time. And yes, they are breaking. 
let's see what's going on over here. Looks like um, the Triari are trying to finish off the Hoplites. Hoplites putting up a, a brilliant defense. A really good stand there. But oh, here comes the chariots. Let's watch this charge. Here we go. We're riding on a chariot right now. Roman scum. You will die to my chariot. Oh my god. That's awesome. That was a beautiful charge there. Look at him just running them down. What can Romans do against such destruction? Such a weapon of warfare. But here we go. Here comes another charge. Let's watch this. Into the Triarii. Here we go. Triarii, hold your ground. Oh. Oh, but they die. Oh, my God. Triarii kicking ass there. Look at that. They just killed, like, two of them. There's one left. Beautiful. Now the Triarii, they're, they're a little winded, you can tell, but they're marching to battle. They're going to quickly try to save their troops. Oh, no, they're going to charge for the chariot. Jeez. Jeez, that is gruesome, guys. Uh, the Romans, it looks like the Romans are going to be victorious here. I don't know, this is so close. This is anyone's game. Oh, but the chariot doesn't break, and that's going to be huge. This might turn the battle around. Here we go. Oh, my God. Um, uh, yes, yes, they're breaking. The general desperately trying to get some hammer and anvil strikes. Uh, I don't think it's going to be good enough, though. I don't think it's going to turn the tide of battle. Yeah, this is over. This is over. Pontus and the Egyptians, they are victorious. They ca this came down to... It came down to the wire. A very, very close battle. And the Triarii, they're going to break. Uh, they did one charge there. They're, doing, they're putting up a little fight. Oh, the chariots. Come on, chariots. Let these poor Romans go back home to Rome. Let them retire from battle. Uh, but that was a gruesome battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. It's just all over the place. We have the Egyptians, the Iverni fighting over here. The Romans and Pontus fighting over here. Uh, re this map really created some interesting tactics and interesting positioning. So let's go ahead and end the replay and check out the final results here. So here are all the players. We have Dutch Lancer getting 600 kills. Banters for days getting 992. Well done there. And look at, look at the amount of kills his uh, pikemen got there. Zero, zero, nine, and two. That is terrible. And his slingers got like three, four, five kills total. That's awful. I almost feel like you should just not bring them. <laughs> Do not bring the Egyptian pikemen. Uh, by the way, this is a medium fun battle. And the Romans over here, he got 700 kills. Got the most kills on his team. And uh, it looks like his legionary cohort did pretty well. His triarii tri didn't do so hot, but they killed those those uh, chariots. So that was a pretty big kill there, but it just wasn't enough. And the Iverni over here, um, they didn't do so hot. Uh, they're heavy horse. They got one unit getting 125 kills, which is pretty awesome. So that's it, guys. That is the battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me in this fight, and I will see you next time. <laughs>